Welcome Cancer, we are going to be looking at what it is that we can help you with on this leg of your journey and we are using the Divine Direction cards and also Angels and Ancestor, Ancestors Oracle and Lightseer's Tarot. Okay, let's get into it, Cancer. Three cards for Cancer from Divine Directions please. No cards. <laughs> Three cards, please, for Cancer. They're just sitting through the right ones. Proud. Next card for Cancer, please. Oh, look, Cancer. Oh, I just dropped it. Dang. I've been, like, <laughs> having the cards land on my wrist, like, super talented. Um, yeah, but it dropped. I didn't get to show you. That's okay. I saw it. <laughs> um... Okay, here we go. Cancer, let's have a look-see here. So we've got proud. Be proud of who you are, where you've been, and where you are going. Yes, Cancer, pride. It's really important for us to be able to build momentum along our journey, that we be proud of not only where we are, but where we have been and everything that we've accomplished, you know. And that's not to say that we're living in the past or anything. We're not doing that. We're just honouring ourselves in a sense, honouring the journey, you know, and um, even, even the things that maybe didn't work out so well. You know, it's really important to honour those too because um, we did learn some things along the way. So this is you know it's it's important to be doing that next card here is goals it's time for you to take your goals off the back burner go after them yeah and um you know this is part of this being proud thing um because that actually when you're proud of yourself you give this um energy of being deserving of things so if there's goals that you uh, would like to arrive at um, that obviously you haven't started for one reason or the other whatever those reasons and don't be, beat yourself up over that okay that's not about that um, but you know then knowing that by being proud this is what I was saying um, is that you then know that you're worth reaching that goal you you know that you're worth going after that goal especially if it's something from the heart you know, and often we tend to, it's so interesting, isn't it, Cancer? Because we often tend to put the things that we desire the most or we would like to get to the most on the back burner for whatever reason. And really, these are the things that we should be putting first. So now is the time, Cancer. Okay, we also have positive. Enjoy this positive time. Smile. Know that everything is going well. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. What a cool energy here. I love this. Okay, so Cancer, let's get some cards here. You know, and this is it. This I think sometimes when things are going really good, I think it's good to stop and kind of go, oh, wow, it's all great right now, and really embrace that because that's going to bring more of that in, you know, and it's going to be easier then when things are maybe not going so good, because remember that Wheel of Fortune, it's always turning, and sometimes we're up on the top, and sometimes we're down the bottom, okay, um, or on the side, but lopsided, <laughs> and that's okay too, you know, um, it is what it is, we all, all have those experiences, you know, to some degree or another, and that's not to minimise it for anybody, to say, oh, don't worry about it, everyone goes through it, no, we still need to honour our journey, okay, but yeah, just really loving these positive times, so, okay, Cancer, give us a card for Cancer, please, if not six, some of them have been coming up real quick, but Cancer, very selective for you today, getting exactly the right cards for you. Tell me more about this reading for Cancer, please. Here we go. We have started. Stargazer, set your sights higher. Ha <laughs> ha. 
So maybe you're kind of like settling. Or even, you know, and I'm thinking immediately going to this goals card here. Maybe you need to set your sights higher. Maybe your goalpost needs to be not further away. I don't want to say further away. But actually to the place, it's, it needs to be set in the place that you deserve. And I just wonder if some of you are kind of going, oh, well, I'll just, just go here because, you know, what the heck. Um, you know, I've got all this other stuff to do anyway. It's not like I'm getting any younger. I might as well, you know, that was that's kind of what I wanted. So I'll, I'll just go to here. No, no, you deserve so much more than that, Cancer. Um, and, and you're not allowed to do that to yourself. Because at the end of the day, Cancer, that has gone on the floor. That's okay. I'll pick it up shortly. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you would 100% encourage everyone else to set their, goal, their, their goalposts as high as they can get it. But for yourself, you tend to um, not do that. You, you kind of do, you know, have that thing of like, oh, well, it's just me. Um, but no, nah, no, nah, not anymore. Okay, we just need two more cards here. This is looking very, very interesting. Okay, two more cards for Cancer, please. Are we going to get them? No, I'm going to pick up this card on the floor. We will get those last two cards towards the end here, Cancer. And let's go. So, Stargazer, set, set your sights higher. Yeah, two mini cards. Okay. Oh, whatever. It's just gone on the floor again. That's okay, though. Okay, we've actually had three cards come out. That's okay. Um, we have the King of Cups here. We also have the High Priestess. Uh, so, yeah, see, the King of Cups, he doesn't hold back. He knows what he deserves. He knows 100% what he is worth. And this is the energy that you need to embrace. Okay, he knows what's in his cup. He's not going to settle for anything less other than what he deserves. Okay, um, the thing is, so these, we've got the high priestess here, and I feel like for some of you, the thing is that there's sometimes a bit of fear in the unknown, and you're not really knowing what to expect, so you are going, oh, maybe I'll just go here, because I don't really know what's around the corner there, and I just think I'll just stay here for now. That, that feels better. This is not stepping out of your comfort zone, Cancer, you know. Um, and so, therefore, you're not actually getting to the place of where you deserve to be. You know, and this is where this being proud of who you are is, right? Proud of where you are going, right? Because when you have that pride, you're not going to settle. You're not going to hold yourself back. You're going to get to where it is you deserve to get to. So really draw on that pride and actually start working on that, okay? Because I feel like that's going to be your push, okay? Yep, yeah. see? The chariot, yes. Pushing yourself to go like, like at the speed of lightning. You, this is also cancer. Embracing your your shadow self, the dark and the light, okay, bringing that together, allowing those two things to work together in order to take you forward, okay, because I feel like your, your shadow self or the things that you don't like about yourself, those things that you're not proud of, those are the things you're, that are holding you back. And those, some of you may actually feel like you don't deserve the best of the best, because of things you're not proud of about yourself, okay? So this is, I think, quite crucial for you to still love those parts of yourself anyway so that you can move forward, okay, um, without any barriers holding you back and those barriers being the ones that you place in front of you to hold yourself back, okay? So we have Lady here. Enjoy growth and reap rewards this is under goals here okay let me just remind you it's time for you to take your goals off the back burner go after them and this is exactly what this lady does okay she um 
she she picks the fruit when it is good and ready to be picked. She doesn't pick it any sooner. She doesn't allow it to rot and fall from the tree. She picks it, she slices it, and she goes, this is what I have produced. And boy, oh boy, is she proud of that. You know, but she's proud of it, not in a cocky way. You know, she's proud of it in a way that, that people are going to come along and choose her fruit before any others because she knows its worth. She knows its value. She knows its goodness. Okay? And um, and when you grow something, Cancer, you deserve to reap those rewards. No one else should get that other than you. You know, and again, sometimes this is something that you do. You'll push other people forward to take that reward. You deserve that more than anyone else. Um, so I think it's important for you to give that to yourself, okay? And that, that supports that pride. You know, of being proud of yourself. Yes, I deserve this and I'm proud of what I've done. Own it. Okay, so lady, one more card for lady, please. We've got one come out already. We would like one more card for lady that's like too many that's three cards okay two all right then all right then <laughs> king of swords yeah man standing in your truth you know there's all these little things happening around you that could niggle away at you you standing in your truth and being proud of who you are those things are not going to bother you you know, this is this energy that I feel like cancer. I feel like you're you're um, you're beginning at the beginning of embracing this, and um, there's still some way to go. Uh, but you, yeah, there's some sort of shift. There's a shift here, and um, you know, with other readings that you've had, although I don't remember them. Um, it's the energy that I'm noticing a shift with here and this is a way to shift this energy right because you know this is you bringing out your wisdom and leaving it out there for everyone to see not that you're hiding it away and um, you know being proud of that that which you have to offer um, yeah I feel like there's something else about communication here um, because this this feels like there's this um, opening the lines of communication because sometimes wires can get crossed and um, so I feel like it's important for you to actually take that on to do um, yourself, okay, to open those lines of communication to make it clear um, and to be clear in your delivery of what it is that you are saying so that there is no doubt for anybody what exactly is being communicated okay the seven of swords um yeah i think that's leading on from that communication to be honest um because people can take what you say and then go and use it in another way that it wasn't intended so i think this is where it's very important the other thing i want to say about that cancer is is it might be important right now to actually put things in writing so that there is no confusion so that no one can take what you say and use it um, for something that it wasn't intended for okay this could be in anything actually that you do the other thing is that there could be some secrets or some kind of um I don't know the word. What is the word? Why is it not coming to me? Destruction. I'm just seeing destruction for some reason. That the, the truth behind that comes to light. There's something that was destroyed, and the truth behind that is going to come to light. There's going to be light shed on something that has not been revealed. There's going to be some sort of communication for some of you, and the truth is going to come out about something, some deception that caused some kind of devastation, some kind of destruction. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So this, you know, while it, um, I, I feel like this truth is actually going to be a very good thing. It's going to, it's sort of going to clear the air. It's going to clear up any um, miscommunication and it's going to clear the air so that moving forward, 
um, there's going to be this good outcome. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so next in line here, we have the hunter. Track down your fears and desires. Okay, so there's these hidden fears and hidden desires. You know, with the goals here, some of you may go, I don't have any goals. They could be hidden in the shadows. Okay, so you're looking at fears and you're looking at your desires. By dealing with your fears, this may bring forth the desires that have been hidden. Okay, um, yeah, this is pretty cool, man. Tell me more about Hunter for Cancer, please. Got the hangman looking at things from a diff different perspective. Taking a moment here, Cancer, to, um, to allow things to come forward. Um, allow your fears to come forward. Allow your desires to come forward. Okay, seeing things from a different perspective. Um, yeah. Next card for Hunter, please. Something more about the Hanged Man that I'm... This could be another language as well. This could be learning another language. Um, there could be a desire for you to learn another language. Okay. Um, the, yeah. Yeah. Um, for some of you, there are choices. There's lots and lots of choices and you're not sure which choice to make. Okay, take a moment to really ponder on that. Okay, um, I want to say that um, this could be about you tapping into your inner desires to see which choice to make because there's a little bit of confusion here. And um, not, I don't know if confusion is the right word, but it's a little bit like, I don't know what to choose. There's so many choices. Um, so just, yeah, not too sure on what to choose. And it's kind of like if you take the time to see things from another perspective, the cup that is meant to be turned over is clear. But right now, you're not seeing that clearly because this time needs to be taken for you to tap in and tune in, okay? So that you can work out that, yes, this is the one I need. This is the this is the direction I want to go in. This is the choice I want to make, okay? So we have the stag, trust and thrive. Yes, trust in your intuition. Work with your intuition. Practice that muscle, right? Really um, start with little things right now, Cancer. Um, start writing things down. Oh, this is, you know, what I picked up or this is what I felt and start noting all these things down so you can start to learn what your intuition is telling you, okay? Because there'll be some things, you know, there may have been things that um, before you thought you were following your intuition but it went wrong or you were incorrect, and that's okay, that's all part and parcel of practicing it, right? But you just learn when you get things, when, th um, you know, you're not on the right track with things, you are able to then reflect back objectively and go, ah, oh, that's because of this, this and this. And it could very well be a thought process that is blocking that. Um, you know, it could be that you did get that um, right message, but your thoughts jumped in and went, yeah, but what about this and what about that, instead of actually just following what was going on inside of you, okay? Um, and, you know, this could be what this revealing is about, this deception of your mind blocking your intuition, you know? And once you clear that, you're going to lead. It's going to lead you to, you know, your the dreams fulfilled, really, Okay, so, yep, we've got, okay, we've got the Two of Cups and we've got the Page of Wands. Yeah, this is about your learning. Um, I feel like learning to come together, okay, to combine with other people, okay, could be in a relationship even, could be the communication with the partner, okay, um, and, and learning a new way of communicating. Um, it could be about um, you trusting yourself, coming together with yourself, right? 
um, using actually using your mind and your intuition together so they're not um, they're not giving you different messages interesting okay but playing around with it as well um, yeah the other thing I do want to say about this is that try new things as well cancer because that's going to give you a, a broader scope of um, you know different goals that you may want to set for yourself especially if you're not sure of what that goal would be if you don't feel like there's any goals that you've put on the back burner it could be time for you to, to start discovering something new and finding a new desire finding a new passion to work towards okay and and even if you're new at learning that again don't set the bar low set the bar high and know that you can achieve just because you're beginning this particular thing it doesn't matter you can still Dream big, man. Dream big. Why not? I mean, how are you ever going to get there if you don't dream big? You know, when we dream small, that's where we reach. But when we dream big, we can, you know, reach higher heights. Okay, so two more cards for cancer, please. So the next one, drum. Dream and journey. Yes, yes, yes. Walking to the beat of your own drum here, right? Um, and and we're walking that journey. Who cares what everyone else does with it? Who cares? You know, this is your journey, not anyone else's. Yours. You walk your own journey to the beat of your own drum, Cancer. And um, and I just absolutely adore this for you because. It's kind of like you set the rhythm as you walk. You set the pace and you go, you know what? This is how it's going. You're not settling. You're not, you know, and this is this proud. You being proud of yourself. This is where you start to do that. And you go, you know what? This is my pace. This is my beat. And this is what's happening. And then you might have people coming along and going, no, 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 no. This is the song we're playing. So this is the beat you need to play. And you go... Well, you're more than welcome to sing your song and find someone else to beat that drum for you. I'm beating my drum here in this rhythm and the right people will come along and play the music to the beat of this drum because that will be their music and it's going to automatically match. It's going to come together. They aren't changing anything to, to actually... Um, get in time with the beat of your drum because their music is already a match for your drum for your particular rhythm okay so no one's changing anything for anyone and the great thing is everyone's aware of that you know and and it just works it just works so um yeah i love that i love that okay radio radio and this is what this two of cups is about, right? Because it, everyone's got the same thing in their cup. And so there's no adjusting. No one needs to change anything. It works. It's kind of like bringing in that soul family. It's bringing in the people who, who are your people. Okay, so cancer. Two cards for drum, please. Okay, we've got the four of swords here. Next card for drum. one flipped over here as well oh yeah okay um okay so we've got the four of swords we've got strength here <sighs> wow we the other one's upside down i'm not turning that one over yet because i want to talk about these two cancer it's been a hard journey to get here you've had to take some rest you've had to heal you've had to do things that you've needed to do and it's taken some almighty strength okay um but i feel like you are you are at the stage of man <laughs> beating your own drum, like I say, and you know, um, and you're all you're discovering what that rhythm is, and um, and it's it's certainly been um something that you've had to rise up from for some of you, and you know, 
the thing, Cancer, is that you are, I feel like you're allowing your, your treasure to shine. I think I think you're preparing yourself to let that happen at least, okay? And you know that this is something that is in the cards that the the treasure needs to shine for people to see. So because you know that that's going to assist people, okay? Um, but there's been there's been a journey from having feeling the need to hide that treasure away to getting to the point of where you're like, okay, I know I need to let this treasure shine. And it could be that for some of you, I'm not quite ready to let it shine yet, but it will shine eventually. I know that you're still in the process of letting that happen. And, you know, it's like with the drum, you know, you once upon a time, you didn't even have the, it wasn't you even beating the drum and making the rhythm. It was someone else. And now, You've got yourself a drum and you're beating the rhythm. You've got the rhythm going and eventually you know that it's going to be time where everyone else gets to hear that rhythm and that is where the call goes out to having the people come in. And, you know, maybe some of you are doing that already. Um, so you know how that's going to fit along your journey, okay? And the next card about this is the Hierophant. Oh, I love, 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 love it. <laughs> this is great yes yes this is you doing things your way cancer i don't need to climb those stairs i will sit here and levitate that's how i will climb these stairs i don't need to do it how everyone else does it i will do it the way i need to do it <laughs> i love that i know the way i know the way and you laugh at that this is you know this this wisdom inside of you you know um, this is you coming away from conforming to what everyone else says you should do. This is you growing your own tree and, and you know, using it for whatever you so choose. So, um, yeah, this is wonderful. Okay, next card for Cancer, please. One more card for Cancer. No, that's two cards. We just want one. One card for cancer. There it is. Arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. Yep, especially as this starts to come out. Okay, um, so that you are not taken down back into the nest by anybody okay, that they can't come and get you, um, and I don't, I, I really don't see that they will, but I do think it's a good idea to always protect yourself anyway, okay, um, so have a look on YouTube for ways to do that, okay, you can imagine yourself in a bubble of white light, but that's only one way, you work out what works best for you, okay, um, and, and even meditations to do that a bit fuller, maybe once a week, but the protective energy do every day, okay? Um, when you wake up, before you go to sleep, and any other time you think of it during the day, be protecting yourself because this is the time when spirit comes in and says, you need to protect yourself right now, okay? Um, and you don't need to know why, all right? You just need to do it, okay? Um, unless, of course, it comes to you why you need to protect yourself and it's clear as day, then that's cool. Okay, so we have death and rebirth here. Yeah, okay, so this is this need to, I've just said you don't need to know why, and now it's come clear. See how it works? Um, you're going through this transition period from the ending of one cycle and into another here. Okay, um, and, you know, the, this, this is going to be a cycle in its own, and that's going to lead into another death and rebirth cycle. It doesn't always have to be bad, um, the death side of it doesn't have to be bad. It's just that you're heading into a new cycle. But I feel like it's a really, really, really positive cycle and um, one that is going to allow you to shine this light here, right? Where else have we got this light beaming down? Look at this, revealing everything. We've got this light here. You know, we've got 
um, this light from the heart here. All this light is coming from everywhere, shining down. Okay, so it's time now. Now I've made a mess of the cards. Where's oh yeah, here we go. Um, and then we have the Knight of Wands here. Okay, so oh I love this. I love this. So this is you learning to set your rhythm. Okay, and it's kind of like um you kind of get really excited because it's like oh, i've got my own drum now boom, 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 and then boof it catches on fire because <laughs> you know this is you learning learning about the drum learning what the drum can take this is about you okay learning what you can take what you're going to tolerate um having fun with it in the meantime not freaking any horses out in the background <laughs> Not setting the whole forest on fire. Learning your limitations, okay? And, um, but knowing that that is going to lead you to the goalposts that you've set at the highest it can be set at. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty cool, Libra. I really love this for you. And I love the progress. So yeah, absolutely wonderful. I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you, bye-bye.